the vast majority of American Jews, 80 to 90 percent of American Jews, have a relationship with Israel. And so when we're saying banning and boycotting Zionists from campuses or, you know, author lists or artist lists or any of these other things we've seen, it's effectively saying ban and boycott 80 to 90 percent of American Jews or Israeli Americans or others who, who hold these posi positions. And we need to help people understand that. We need to help people understand what this term means the same way that, you know, when we hear the term intifada, for me, like one of my most formative moments in my relationship with Israel was the second intifada. I like came of age in my relationship with Israel during a time when buses and pizza parlors and other places were being blown up. Hebrew University, where I went, had the cafeteria bombed during the second intifada. And so I hear that term fundamentally differently than someone, you know, like a Palestinian American or Arab American who might be shouting it because they think it is a, a, a freedom term, right? And so we need to help people understand what these terms actually mean to us as Jewish Americans or Israeli Americans or Israelis or others, because that allows us to, again, start from a place where we're even speaking the same language and can then in turn understand the harm that's being done. We need to understand the harm that some of the language and terms we might use and inadvertently or intentionally can have. But I think we have to find those opportunities to help people actually understand what this all means.